Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode of The Journey. We are hiking New Hampshire again. This time it's early March. We're knocking off Wildcats A and D. It's number 36 and 37 on our list of 48, 4,000 plus foot mountains in New Hampshire. Uh, we have new snowshoes to try out. We're gonna get some craft beer on the way up. We are actually staying overnight at Mike's family camp up in New Hampshire and we are gonna snowboard down on the way down again. So uh, stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, on our way to another hike. Going to New Hampshire, Mike and I. Gonna meet Rich on the way. Uh, I insisted, because I'm a pain in the neck, I insisted on going to Treehouse. We are not a treehouse, uh, but this is not a bad second. What's the lake they were staying on? Wentworth. Wentworth. Lake Wentworth. Good job, Kyle. Thank you. Help you get that fire started. We're taking a nap. Thanks. <sighs> See? Yeah. All right. All the <laughs> On this, on this grill. Take it outside. Use it yeah. Inside, yeah. Take it outside. Is it a fuck? It's not a fuck. All right, man. Grill master rich. You know what? Judging by the size of those flames, I think that tank might be kind of low. What do you think? 
Uh, it's worth a shot. Switch it out. <laughs> it looks the same. These are the best. This? Yeah, horseshoes. Oh, Muddy buddies. Yeah, Thanks, Rich. settled in at the camp, had uh, some dinner. Rich brought steak and potatoes, so that was delicious. We got the fire going, or we restoked it now, but it's nice and toasty in here. We're gonna give a little run through on, on some of the equipment that we have for the trip. Um, I lucked out, actually. I, I borrowed snowshoes from my, my boss's husband and totally just took whatever I could get. At that point, it was a couple days before the hike, and I said, it doesn't matter what he has, I'm happy to borrow it. And they're the best MSR snowshoes that they make. So, uh, and they haven't been used yet. So thanks, Tim, I appreciate it. Uh, luckily, Mike did all the research already because he bought the other snowshoes that you see here. So he bought the MSR Evo Ascents, and I'll be borrowing the MSR Lightning Ascents. So uh, Mike knows all about these snowshoes because he was going to buy mm -hmm. one or the other and uh, so we'll test them out tomorrow to see how they compare. Uh, Mike, what can you tell me about them? Well, um, these are two of the top of the line mountaineering snowshoes. So these are snowshoes you want to use primarily for climbing mountains or doing backcountry um, uh, snowshoeing. This isn't something you would use for a leisurely stroll through a park or in flat terrain. Um, they are designed primarily for uh, gripping really, really well. Um, and in some cases, and certainly in my case here with the uh, Evo Ascent, you're sacrificing a little bit of flotation. Flotation meaning how you sit on top of the snow. Um, you're sacrificing a little bit of that for traction. And because we're climbing mountains with these, we want primarily traction. Um, both of these are made for that, but there are slight differences, the not least of which is cost. Um, so we'll start with the, uh, the Evo Ascents here, the ones that I've been using. Um, I love these, they're fantastic. They come in one size only. And it's sort of an important uh, point to bring up. They only come in 22 inches. So if you're a larger guy, you may have trouble with flotation. They're only graded for about 180 to 200 pounds. So I weigh about 170 pounds. As soon as I add some gear on top, you start to sink in a little bit. The benefit, however, is the bottom. So you can see here the crampons, uh, they're really, really deep. You also have an aluminum uh, toothed uh, rail on the outside of each one. Uh, they dig in really, really good. When I used them on Canon, I had superior traction. Uh, another thing people love about these is that they're, the decking is entirely hard plastic. They're extremely durable. So people who use these for um, off-country, uh, back-country, off-trail, um, where they're hitting trees and shrubs and, and uh, rocks, they're not worried about breaking through any of that composite or any of that nylon decking that some of the other shoes have. So extremely durable, extremely uh, wonderful uh, to use. Uh, top, they're small, even though they're only 22 inches. Um, and they don't really carry you, the benefit is that you know they're easier to walk in. Um, they do come with a couple of awesome features here. They have a heel bar which pops up. You'll see the same feature in the other shoes there. The heel bar pops up to allow you uh, your heel not to drop all the way down. It helps with fatigue. So when you're climbing uphill for a long time, um, instead of your heel dropping all the way down and causing some discomfort and strain on your calves, it keeps your foot up. So although your shoe is uh, in line with the slope, your foot sort of stays horizontal. The one thing I will say though, um, although the flotation on these is a little bit less, you can get flotation tails that snap mm -hmm. on the back um, and allows you to go up to quite a bit, quite a bit over 200 pounds. So yeah. there's always that. That retails for about 50, 60 bucks. This shoe entirely though goes for about $200. So if you're looking for a good mountaineering show, snowshoe, especially if you're in a rocky area like New England, you can't do any better than the MSR uh, Evo Ascent. Mm -hmm. Now compare that to the, the Lightning mm -hmm. Ascent. It has a lot of the same features. Um, heel lift, except it's an aluminum frame, and uh, what was the spec on, on the deck? Yeah, so um, this comes in different sizes, that's a big thing here. Whereas this only came in the 22 inch size that holds about 180 to 200 pounds, you can get these different sizes that will hold up from 
Uh, I think we said 180 pounds to 220. 220. Like. So you get a lot bigger. Obviously, with gear, that's going to change your and size. These are the 25 so. inch, which is right These are the 25, the and they go all the way up to uh, 30 inches. I think so. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Pretty good. They have the same bindings. People love these bindings. I didn't mention on this, but. These bindings are fantastic. They're very, very comfortable. They don't really pinch. They don't get too tight, um, and they don't freeze up. That's the big thing. Some of the other ones where they're cord, perhaps, um, they'll get wet, and uh, if it's really cold, they freeze. It makes it really hard to adjust and change. With the plastic, you never, ever have that issue. So. Yeah, I mean, you sacrifice a little bit of the durability. You have this TPU nylon mesh that's on this, which is fantastic. You know, give It's really light and gives you a lot of flotation but you can run into that situation where you step on a, a rock or a roof. Yeah. In theory, over time, it could yeah. puncture through. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, borrowing <laughs> these, I don't own the $320 pair of snowshoes that I have to, to pay for. So yeah. yeah, I'll have to tread lightly tomorrow, but, but hopefully still run them through the paces so we can tell you how they work. Yeah. All right, so, so the trails will be taken today. On the way up, we'll pay for a $10 pass, and we'll park it the base of the mountain. We will end up hiking up. Which one is it, Mike? The, the Polecat Trail. Polecat Trail. To Wildcat D. So that gets us from here up to our first peak. And then we're going to pick up the Wildcat Ridge Trail, take it all the way back to A. We'll have to end up ditching some weight here, our boards, uh, so we can go a little bit faster across the peak. I get quite as tired, uh, and then we'll have to make a good pace. There's a lot of ups and downs from here, so uh, it makes sense to, to ditch the weight. And then we'll come back to D, and then we'll board down. Uh, overall distance is about five inches, <laughs> or like 6.2 miles. Wow. I just love it. It's like one of these things is not like the other. Like Mount Washington is clearly <laughs> a different mountain than everything else. All right, we're gonna have to see how this goes. Uh, we just got our passes. The mountain isn't opening, they're, they're on wind hold uh they're not sure if it's gonna open at all today there's reportedly expected 60 mile an hour winds up top uh gusts so we're just gonna see how it goes if we get up and it's too windy then we will head back down but the mountain forecast is unpredictable so this is what they're saying now could be better could be worse we'll have to play it by ear and hopefully not have to backtrack So you might wonder why we didn't take the ridge trail the whole way up and we cut off the first two miles. We're doing two miles right now on the dedicated ski slope hiking trail. Um, the first two miles of the ridge trail are arguably the steepest continuous two miles of the Appalachian Trail. And with these conditions, we would need crampons and ice axes for that. So, uh, especially with the conditions today and the winds, uh, didn't seem like the smartest idea. So this is commonly the way that you're gonna do this peak in the winter. It's still brutal though.
Mike, how you doing with those snowshoes? Oh, they're great. You know, we got some pretty hard packed, groomed slopes here. Um, they're digging in really good. Uh, the spike is fantastic. And even on these icy parts here, I mean, you go up no problem, and the shoes don't slip at all. Um, so definitely, definitely a plus, and you don't have to worry about flotation when the snow is this hard packed. So, yep, perfect shoes. Nice, good. Rich, how's the tubular frame? Traction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Keep going. Yep. Yeah. All right, we made it to the top. They did open the lift. It's a beautiful day. Just goes to show you, you can't always trust the weather reports at the base. It was windy, but it wasn't. It wasn't 60 mile an hour wind. So it is gorgeous up here. All right, Mike. Mike looks like Mech Warrior. D, but uh, with the pace that we did, it's just not worth going all the way there. We'd probably get about halfway and then have to turn around. So the good thing is this is the mountain that we had to, to knock off to make which Cardamari yep. traverse uh, much more doable. So so we'll just tack A onto that trip and uh, we'll take care of it in the summer. Perfect. All right. Let's go ski. <laughs> That is all ice, and this is like a 45 degree drop. There's a high likelihood I'm gonna eat it on this. Yeah, these, wow, I mean, these things are amazing. Down. These are incredible. Stay far behind me, because when you eat it, don't take me out. Yeah. You know, Rich is I was talking to Rich. Yeah, Rich. wrapping up now about to head home if you made it this far please 
like, share, subscribe, put a comment down below. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Um, didn't quite make both peaks today, but uh, I guess I just leave it for next time. I'll see you guys in the next one.